So you wanna make a song with AI vocals. Sovitz SVC is by far the most common and widely used vocal conversion program. There's tons of models available for all your favorite celebrities. However, it requires a powerful GPU and CPU to train, and oftentimes you need a knowledge of Python and Anaconda just to run it. So what about DDSP SVC? It takes a much weaker GPU and CPU to run, and anybody can train their own models on vocals. It even works in real time. The problem with DDSP, it still requires knowledge of Python and Anaconda, and a lot of people have trouble getting the real-time inferencing to work. So DDSP is out of the picture too. So what options does that leave us with? RVC, or Retrieval-Based Voice Conversion, is the first AI vocal conversion program that doesn't require a knowledge of Python or Anaconda to install. Instead, the prerequisites are downloaded inside of a zip and you just run a single bat file to install them onto your PC and run the interface. In this video, we'll be talking about how to install and run RVC locally on your computer, as well as how to operate the interface. And we'll also be talking about a few places where you can get RVC models. I'll have a video coming out next week on how to train your own RVC vocal models, as well as how to train on DDSP for anyone that's interested in that. Without a further ado, let's get started on installing and running RVC. This installation genuinely just takes two downloads, so it'll be extremely easy. But before we get started, I just want to mention a few system requirements. If you're looking to train your own vocal models, then you'll need a GPU with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. And this system hasn't been tested on AMD, though I do know it works with NVIDIA and Intel CPUs. If you're not looking to train a model and you're just looking to inference vocals and make AI vocals from pre-existing models, then this should work on pretty much any CPU as it doesn't require a GPU to inference at all. To get started, the first thing you're gonna need to download and install is 7-Zip, which just allows you to open the file type that RVC is saved under. Once you have that downloaded and installed, head to the hugging face that I have linked below and download this file here, rvcbeta.7z. That is all we're going to need. The first thing you're going to want to do once the zip file is downloaded is extract the folder that's within the 7-zip file. To do so, just open up the zip file and then click and drag the folder to the main root of your hard drive. I tried this on other hard drives and it had some issues as most Python programs do, so it's important to install this directly onto your main hard drive. Once you have the folder copy and pasted to your main hard drive, all you need to do to launch the interface is click goweb.bat. This bat file will open a Windows command prompt, which will then port and locally run the web interface for you. If it doesn't open by default, or if it opens an Internet Explorer, you can just replace the 000 with localhost and paste it right into Google Chrome, and it'll work just fine. Before we download models and get started on actual inferencing, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the interface. This section here will be completely in Chinese, but to fix that, just right-click and translate to English. This interface provides a ton of information compared to the Soviets SVC and the DDSP interfaces, so I think it will be extremely easy to use. What I really enjoy is the fact that it comes with the Ultimate Vocal Remover 5 model and allows you to de-echo and remove vocals from acapellas directly inside of this interface. We won't be talking too much about it in this video. I'll go over it in a future video where I also discuss how to train your own vocal models for both separating vocals from music and getting your own acapellas and training those acapellas to create new models or using those acapellas for inferencing. We'll discuss this checkpoint processing as well in the next training video, but basically this allows you to combine two different models, which is an extremely powerful and cool tool. And I'm super excited in the future to see different artists blend together or two models of the same artists that are both weak combined to make a stronger and more powerful model. There's also a frequently asked question page, which covers a lot of the issues that you might run into when you're trying to inference or train your own vocals. When you first go to inference a voice, you're not going to have any names in this path list. I have Eminem because that's one of the models that I downloaded. So let's go ahead and download some models ourselves. I'm not sure of the legality of the site, so if this next part of the video is blurred or you can't hear the audio, then all you need to do is search RVC vocal model download on Google, and you should be able to find plenty of places to download it. This hugging face space, however, the music AI voices space, currently has 146 different vocal models, most of which are all RVC. These include Ariana Grande, Eminem, Ice Spice, Lil Wayne, and every other artist that you could possibly imagine. There's also a Bo Burnham vocal model, which I downloaded and we will be testing. Remember, I do not know the legality of downloading or using these models, and it's completely on you if you use these in any illegal and nefarious methods. I do not support piracy or profiting off another person's image or work. Parody, on the other hand, is a whole nother thing. Once you have a model downloaded, you still won't see it in the list. That's because we need to properly place it in the right location. The location that it needs to be is inside the RVC beta folder under weights. I've experimented back and forth with creating my own folders like this M&M folder and then putting the weights in there, but it doesn't seem to recognize them unless they're directly in the weights folder. That's okay, however, because they're mainly named and easy to choose between when you're looking on the list. There's also a second part of the interface, which is the index file logs. 
And luckily you can create folders here, which makes it a lot easier to navigate because the names don't necessarily have the artist name inside of them. To do that, create a new folder in logs called m and or whatever artist it is, and then drag the index files from that folder into that folder. Let me go ahead and do the same thing with an iSpice model, just to show you what I mean. You would take these three files here and copy and paste them into your weights folder. And then you would copy this index file and create a new folder under logs called iSpice and paste that into there. Now, if we head back to the interface and we hit refresh voice list and index path, we will see the new iSpice voice paths. For me, the D versions usually work better than the G version, though that's not 100% the case. But let's go ahead and turn ourselves into Eminem. To do so, I'm gonna record a quick vocal in FL Studio and then show you guys how to import that into RVC. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. One thing I've noticed about inferencing is it can be extremely particular about where the audio file came from and this can cause errors if it's not directly on your C drive. So for me, I created a new folder called test inside of the RVC folder and that's where I put my audio files. And in order to load this audio file into the interface, you just right click, copy as path, and then paste that path here where it says enter the path of the audio file. You want to erase the quotation marks from what I understand. I like to turn the volume envelope down because oftentimes if I don't, there's like a weird screeching sound. For now, we're gonna leave all the settings at default and just see how it sounds. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. We're gonna change the pitch extraction to crepe, which requires a GPU. So if you don't have a GPU, you can't use this option. And then we're gonna go ahead and set it to the D path for Eminem and then run that and see how it sounds. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. The only issue might be the background audio, which is easily removable by using something like Denoise inside of FL Studio or even using Ultimate Vocal Remover 5's D reverb or D echoing abilities. Before we hop off, let's try one more time with an Ice Spice vocal model and see how that sounds. I'm like, damn, me and my baddies just did it again. We're going to copy his path again and make sure we have the proper voices set and then paste the path in. Because she has a pitch that's much higher than mine, we are going to go up an octave by typing 12 into the transpose section. And hopefully that makes me sound a bit more like Ice Spice. I'm like, damn, me and my baddies just did it again. And with that vocal pitching, it still sounds so much like Ice Spice. Imagine if I was a female and just sang in the correct pitch and we didn't need to actually pitch it up. That's incredible to me that it sounds so much like Ice Spice without any autotune or effects added to it at all. To extract your vocals once they're done, you can just right click here and click download. And of course, you can do a bunch more audio than just this at once. There's even an option for batch composing, which works in an extremely similar way, but allows you to drag and drop multiple audio files inside of a batch, so you could do an entire song at once or a bunch of many different acapellas into the artist that you're looking to do it in. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really appreciate your support. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and like to keep supporting the channel, and I'll be making tons of tutorials and videos on more software just like this. I will also be releasing a video in the future on how to train your own vocals in RVC, as well as how to use the audio removal features. So be on the lookout for those, and thank you guys so much for the support and love. Peace, and have a good day.